And welcome everyone. It's another DMZ screencast. You know, I thought after posting a TV tuner setup uh, how to, I thought it'd be a good idea to walk through some of the things you can do with your guide in Media Center. Now, as I discussed, if you watch that one, uh, as I discussed, you know, I don't have a huge guide here because we do maintain a minimum level of cable in our home at this time. Uh, we simply don't need it. But we can still go through some of the things you can do with your guide data like editing, uh, removing channels, adding channels. And there are some really cool features in Media Center that allow you to make watching TV and finding TV programming for yourself and for other members of your family really quite enjoyable. So anytime we want to edit TV, the first thing we're going to do is go into Tasks, Settings, TV, and we're going to go into Guide. And most of everything we want to do is right in here. Um, so let's take a look at some of these. Now, one thing is to get the latest guide listings. Typically, you're not going to have to do this. My, Windows is set up to automatically grab your guide listings and everything else rather automatically. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's going to tell me when it's complete. Um, there's, again, quite a few things we can do. We can change options here. We can apply colored backgrounds based on show category. We can sort the channels by name instead of by number. And remember the last selected favorite lineup. So there are a lot of different things you can do to make your guide look a little different, maybe make sorting a little bit easier within there. But let's take a look at some of the things you're probably gonna wanna do as soon as you set up that tuner. The first thing is editing channels. Now, as I mentioned that other recording, here in our home, we maintain a uh, very basic cable. So we basically get these bottom 12 channels or so, and that's about it. We don't maintain any of any any higher than that. So you can see right now, because of them being check marked, my guide's gonna be showing all of these channels, and we don't have them. Now what you can do is go through your guide and simply start removing channels. Spacebar works, or just clicking them with the mouse, or on your remote, pushing the OK button while highlighting it will will remove or add the check mark check mark for each one of these. Now, because we have such uh, so many so few channels yeah, for ourselves, what we normally do is clear all. This removes all the channels from the guide, and then I go back in, and it's actually uh, oh. This is what happens when you hit the wrong button. I don't want to change any settings specifically. So we want to clear all, and then what I want to do is come in here and just select the channels that I do have. Home, box office, uh, HBO not being one of them. So once we get all these added in here, I can then go ahead, save my edits, and that's it. You're done. So really here, let's say, you know, there's certain channels you don't have. Again, like HBO, you can just remove that one. Uh, let's say I have all these plus, I don't know, somewhere up here, there's a Syracuse, you know, Syracuse Sports. I probably do have it. I never watch it. Uh, it's local sports programming. But I can make sure I add that one and leave all the others deselected. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're using ATSC or QAM, there are a lot more things you can do with guide channels uh, or with your guide data, like editing channel locations and changing all sorts of things. Now, unfortunately, I don't have access to that on this machine, so I'm not gonna be able to show it. But believe me when I tell you, there's a lot you can do. Now, another great thing about Media Center is favorite lineups. So again, with so few channels, it's not as though, you know, I have a lot to select from here. But let's say I only like Fox and TBS. Well, what I can do is actually come in here create a favorites lineup for myself. I can save that and then go in here and select the channels that I want on my favorites lineup. So we'll just pick two or three and we'll save that. And let's make another one for my wife. We'll save it, save the name and she wants CBS and NBC and PBS. And again, we'll save this lineup. Now, obviously, you can come in at any time and edit this, add and remove channels as your favorites change. Maybe you don't watch certain channels anymore, things of that nature. But again, editable anytime. You can create as many as you want. And you can even look at a preview of the channel. Now, this is actually not going to work for me right now just because uh, <laughs> I don't have my tuner hooked up. 
So then what we see here is though, when we jump back to the main screen of Media Center and go back to TV and to the guide, very simply, I can go over here and select just my favorite channels. So this is really helpful if you have satellite, let's say you have, uh, well, real high-end digital cable, or if you have satellite uh, programming and you have 800 channels, and you do leave them all in your guide, instead of having to scroll through all of them, maybe you have 20 channels that are your favorites. If you're into sports, maybe you have uh, ESPN, you know, all the ESPN channels and speed and, and the, the locals, right? If you're a movie nut, maybe you add AMC and, and you can create categories specifically for that. It doesn't have to be a person's favorites. You can put movies and just have all your movies channel listed. You can put uh, sports and just have all the sports channels listed. Now obviously you can do this through selecting categories as well, uh, but you don't. You could actually create lists of channels instead of having to use Media Center's already set up categories. And of course at any time, you just go back to all and everything will be there. Well, this has been another DMZ uh, screencast. I thank you for joining me and we hope this takes some of the mystery out of uh, editing your guide. Have a great day.